What's up guys, it is Mighty Mackie here and today's video is all about Call of Duty Modern Warfare Remastered Update 1.11 Now this update brought three new weapons in the game for the PlayStation 4 and Xbox One and uh, the weapons were a new assault rifle, a submachine gun and a burst fire pistol The community seems to be split on their edition as Infinity War seems to be edging away from their original parody of Modern Warfare's original release. Though they've uh, not stated what other new features they are adding in later updates, both the BOS-14 and FANG-45 have unique natural modifiers to their first five bullets. The BOS-14 is the assault rifle, by the way, and its first five rounds will deal increased damage, whereas the FANG-45s the Fang fire faster. No matter how much or little you shoot, your first five shots with the BOS-14 assault rifle will deal more damage. So take your time to be precise. Some players have been reporting the weapon's first 5 bullets modifies resets on reload, though that's unconfirmed, no one really knows. Anyways, the Fang 45 is going to be the uh, focus on this video, as all my gameplay is all on that, as that's the gun that I actually unlock straight away with uh, whatever the uh, gadget thingies are called again, don't even know. Anyways, the uh, the Fang 45 is is initially regarded by players as a clone of Black Ops 3 CUDA, and I don't actually know where they get that from. To me, I think the gun is similar to uh, a gun in Rainbow Six Siege, which is uh, which is also similar to the ICR, I reckon, in uh, Black Ops. I know that this uh, the Fang 45 does fire faster. That's why I. Resemble it into a gun in Rainbow Six Siege where it's a gun that Ash uses and it's just like Extremely fast. I'll put up a picture and show you what I mean what I'm saying about that Now the pistol the proc -a -lot, that's what it's called is the first burst fire pistol in Call of Duty Modern Warfare Remastered firing off three rounds of each shot from initial testing the proc -a -lot does not kill in the first three rounds burst at close range without and stopping power perk. So honestly, this gun sounds pretty shit. <laughs> pretty good. Now, I know many players are not happy with the new additions that uh, Activision has put in place on Modern Warfare Remastered. As people just wanted uh, the Modern Warfare Remastered just to be a remaster of the existing content. You know, just better graphics, nothing else. So adding in new guns paves the way to add in new kill streaks or other features, which will continue to pull the game away from its core, which we we already know about that ages ago. Now on the other hand, other players feel new content refreshes the game's experience and with it, it the game's lifespan. There's no official word yet on other additions to Modern Warfare Master about available weaponry, killstreaks or perks, or maybe attachments, because there's actually been some leaked in information that there might be attachments coming to, <laughs> new attachments coming to Modern Warfare Remastered. Now each of the three new weapons added in Call of Duty Modern Warfare Remastered can be unlocked now on the PlayStation 4 and Xbox One. So now, I'm going to be talking about the Fang 45 as that was my gun of choice that I decided to unlock straight away. And honestly, I like it. It, to me, it's, it's very accurate and it's, uh, it has a fast fire rate, which is pretty good. But I think it's about, I don't really know how many bullets it takes to kill them. Maybe four. So... With the gameplay that I'm going to show you guys, it's it's going to show you how good it is as a submachine gun, as it's very good at close range, as you see that um on many of the maps like uh, on the many of the maps that I show like Kill House, which is one of the close uh, close range maps, and it's a little bit long range if you snipe or whatever. But with Kill House, it was actually pretty good, so you can just snap on people straight away. And uh, for the long range maps, like the very first uh, map I played uh, 
hit on with the Fang 45 was actually was actually ambush. Now that I think ambush was actually a good map to start off with to show how the gun would work out as that's a variety of ranges on that map as it's long, medium and close range. So I'm showing you all the best uh, footage that I've got with this gun to show you the difference in whatever. But I found out with it long range it kind of sucked because you had it, uh, it had the tiniest bit of kick on it with the long range and they took more amount of bullets up their butt. Another good map was Overgrown as that is, I would say, basically a long range map except if you're in the houses and you're just uh, shooting everyone by the corners. And for me, I was extremely cheeky against the opposition. I just did, uh, like, I wouldn't really say glitch jumps up to the top window to um, the house, but um, I, no, they did not expect it and they're thinking, how the hell did I just do that? And I got them actually a few times doing that in that game. Now backlot was actually good, um, here's some good footage of that where I actually snapped on this one kid, I haven't actually looked back on it myself, I'm going to do that, and it was just good. So overall I think the Fang 45 is a decent gun, it's very powerful as well, especially when you hit them in the head, I think it's like, uh, I'll just say two shots to the head and they're dead, and I, th I think it, that it is decently powerful. I like it. So guys, that's going to be it for my video. I hope you guys did enjoy it. And if you guys want me to uh, make another video focusing on another gun, smash that like button and subscribe. So that would be really helpful to me. So that would be good. And then I would unlock a new gun for you guys as I actually also want to unlock one of those new knives so I can start making another trolling video, which you guys should check out. So, have a good day and goodbye.